Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> Look at this. Uncle Chant. He has a podcast arm thing. Microphone holder. Oh, my God. Look at this. Finally. I've wanted to have this kind of a setup for years. Even back when I was doing stuff with Novastream and um, Gameplug. Finally. This thing actually holds, like, this this Razer mic and the shock mount and the um, pop filter. It's quite heavy. Uh, this joint here is kind of just, just holding it. <laughs> uh, the weight has been bared up on here quite nicely. Like, it, you can move it around just fine. You know, I don't want to move the mic too much to interrupt the sound at the moment, but... This is cool, man. I can just swivel it around. And move it out of the way over there when I'm done. Um, besides the aesthetic, it's quite pleasing. Um, it's just going to free up a bit of desk space. Uh, just for my kind of productivity. So I can get out of the way. Rearrange that camera if I need to. Or just even just somewhere to put my phone down. I, I'm working on quite a small desk here at the moment. Um... Oh, excuse me. So, oh god, just finished work so, and uh, walked up three flights of stairs, so my guts are all going. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so my desk space is quite valuable. Um, oh god, don't mind my face. I'm like I'm 32 years old and I'm breaking out for some reason, stress or something. Um, I've been working in a new position at work, uh, getting used to it and stressing about it. Um, so I think I've broken out a little bit. Uh, I don't know why. I'm 32. I should be past puberty. Seems like I'm only just hitting it now. Um, <laughs> so don't mind my um, face. So anyway, I just want to say good day. And um, also I might just make this video just to kind of touch on something that I'm a little cut up about. Um, I posted on my social media just the other day. And uh, the other day. God, Australian running multiple words into one. Uh, ran into something the other day. Uh, involving Jason David Frank. For those of you who don't know him, he is the uh, OG Power Ranger of old, one of the OGs. Uh, he was the first sixth Ranger, the Green Ranger, who went on to be the White Ranger, and then Red Turbo, no, Red Zero, Red Turbo, Black Dino Thunder, and now Lord Dracon. Lord Dracon from the Boom Studios comic book series. Um, I don't know what I did. I really don't. I have a feeling of who might have done it, but um, he's now blocked me on Instagram. Not a big deal, because I can still see your stuff on Facebook and Twitter, mate, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I've never sent anything negative your way. I've never sent you negative comments, negative inbox messages, or malicious stuff at all. Um, I guess in a way I'm kind of chuffed that someone with your reach has decided to block me for no reason that I caught your attention in some regard that you're like yeah this guy's bothering me um, I, I think it just might have something to do with all the red megaforce love that I have or the gold zeo love that I have over there um, I don't know when you blocked me but it's recent within the last week or two because I just noticed one day that I stopped seeing your stuff coming up on my feed uh, so, sorry I have a couple other favourites over Green and White Ranger now. Um, I don't know if that's why you did it. <laughs> but please go ahead and um, block me on Facebook and Twitter just so you can really close the gap. Because it just seems silly and blocking me only on one platform. Um, so I'm going to take it as a feather in my cap that someone as high up the chain as you has decided to block me. Or maybe it's one of your... Um, one of your satellite heads one person I think in particular that has a gripe with me maybe you've done it if that's the case and you know who you are go ahead please block me on the other ones just so I know it's you because uh, no big deal um, if someone like Jason David Frank approves of um, shunning or blocking out one of his longtime fans uh, go ahead this is going to make him look bad and if you're the person that's doing it on his behalf, um, hopefully he sees this and um, asks a question. 
No, no, um, no skin off my nose, whatever, whatever the saying is. If nothing comes of this, or if I'm not unblocked, or if I'm blocked completely, because, um, whatever, man. Like, back when you came to visit in Australia, uh, I remember when I paid a lot of money to come see Jason David Frank. So, JDF, I came to see you, and I paid a lot of money to see you that year. Uh, flights, accommodation, entry fee, the photo op money to come up to your desk also to pay to come see you personally and get a signature. All that money and um, you didn't have the energy or the, you didn't bother to do me the respect of actually looking me in the eye and saying hello. You were just, I said, how you going? And you just whinged about tired or something and just signed my thing and just handed it to me. Uh, and I was like, wow, man. Uh, but then when the cameras came on, instant shot of energy. Uh, so I was pretty pissed off about that. Uh, when someone that grew up making you, essentially, um, making you who you were back in the day. And, I've, you know, and, and someone like me, I don't know if you've been like this for other people, but I've heard similar stories. Uh, paying a lot of money to come see you and you can't be bothered to even acknowledge my presence um, I, you kind of soured my fandom I guess uh, towards you in that regard so it's kind of one of those things where sometimes you just shouldn't meet your heroes that's the only negative experience I've had going to Supernova so far I've got other photos here on my wall and up on my shelf of happier experiences uh, where they would even shake my hand, look me in the eye, say hello, how I'm going, where did I come from, just talking to me, you know, even give me a hug or something like that. Walter Jones and Austin St. John, total champs. Um, David Yost and Ashley, like, totally um, really happy and welcoming, you know. Uh, and they do as much as you do. So, <clears throat> you know, I might have a little chip on my shoulder about that, clearly. But whatever man like if that's how you want to be uh i'm just little little chant in australia little channel little presence so i um i'll take it as a compliment that <laughs> you felt the need to block me uh yeah i guess that's one way to look at it and that's how i'm going to so anyway it's just my message out to you if you want to do something about this um you know drop drop me a dm or slide into my dms or whatever or just you know I'll know if you unblock me or I've been uh, if I've been blocked and other things. At least, if it's you or one of your associates, do me the favor of actually telling me why uh, I was blocked. I'd really like to know because as far as I'm concerned, I don't really do anything offensive or um, that would warrant being shut out completely. Unless it's a few topics. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on now. Um, thanks for using... Thanks for me, th wait, thanks f to you for allowing me to use you as a sudden topic of mine to test out my microphone, <laughs> or oh, I just got through that sentence. It's been a long day today. Uh, yeah, so anywho, uh, I'm going to wrap this one up, and I'm happy that this microphone is awesome. Everything else is awesome. I'm going to look at my Gold Zero um, shrine over there, and my um, Megaforce Red shrine over here. Um and not worry about it anyway guys two to lose catch you on the next one